Hey, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I am Soulfulish Girl. Today we're doing a pick a card reading where we're going to focus on using our intuition. These are going to be some love messages from your person. What do you need to know about your love life right now? This is an emergency love life reading, okay? <laughs> pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. Love messages from your person. What do they want to say? What does your angels, ancestors, spirit guides want you to know? Timestamps down below. Let's get straight into this video. Hi, Pi One. Okay, let's get into your reading. What does your person want to say to you? Okay. <laughs> This is kind of um, breathtaking. Um, definitely, your person wants you to know that you have a past life connection with them. And they are definitely thinking long term when it comes to your connection. Okay, and then let's go into the timing. Um, timing almost there. So this is about to happen a lot sooner than you think if you guys are wanting to get married or be in a serious relationship. Like if you're a single and you don't have someone in your life, then that person is coming in and when you meet them it's going to feel like you've known this person forever okay um you have known each other before you guys could have telepathic energy and some of you could definitely be in dealing with a leo Okay, um, dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, but I am just getting that lioness energy, it doesn't have to be those signs, we're gonna get some more cards, I'm just channeling what I'm picking up, and I'm hearing that, um, and I'm also seeing that there is a proposal of some sort, Someone's definitely going to ask you for your hand in marriage. And um, it's going to happen sooner than you think. Um, I use this deck a lot in my personal readings. I love this deck so much. It's so much accuracy coming through here for you. So pile number one. Let's just see what else this person wants to say. Who is this person? Okay, that's possibly, I don't know, like coming in already in your life. Um, let's just see what they want to say. What do they want? What do they want to say? What's this person and what do they want to say? Wow, oh, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This person wants to tell you that they work a lot. And when they're working, they're thinking about you, okay? <laughs> this person wants to tell you that. Um, you kind of got them, like, tied up. It's like, you want their attention. You want their attention, but it's like... When you get their attention, it's like, do you want their attention to be like this? Or do you want it to be a bit more loving and kind like this? Like these eight of roses. Definitely Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy coming through. I don't know. 
Okay, who is this person? Um, for some of you, this could be someone that you've known for a long time, that you've had a long connection with, or could have been on again, off again. This person... They really want to just say... Everything I thought I wasn't going to do, I'm doing it. And it's because of you. I cancel my trips for you. I cancel my plans for you. I put my life on hold, on pause for you. There's just something special about you. I don't know what it is. It makes me feel so emotional. I get, I even get teary eyed because it's so hard for me to walk away. It's so hard. Um, walking away from you is so incredibly difficult. And that's how I know I love you because I, If I can't control something, if I can't control something, I leave it, you know? If I can't control a situation, I leave the situation. You save me from boredom. You make me feel like... <sighs> okay. There's more to life than just winning. There's more to life than even life itself, you know? You do make me nervous. You make me really nervous. And I don't know if you put a spell on me. I don't know if you're trying to do something. I don't know. But the way you talk to me, the way you let me in on an emotional level means so much to me. I literally feel like I've known you in a past life I'm hearing it's way more than spiritual it's emotional some of you guys oh that channel message was so deep some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Gemini a Virgo a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, really strong. Aries energy is also coming through. Um, let's just delve in and see a little bit more of what they want to say. I'm just feeling guided, like, because that is, like, for this to be pile one, that's really deep, okay? So what else are they thinking about? your connection when you are alone with them okay some of you are definitely seeing signs and synchronicities about this person and it's hard for you to trust your intuition but always do what's led um because there is do not give up on possible commitment some of you are feeling like you know oh my god look at that freedom and then we have bride. Some of you feel like, you know, your person would never settle down or, you know, you're never going to get married. But that's not true. You know, real love is literally just waiting for you to embrace it. You're going to be in the right place at the right time. And this is going to happen really really soon and it could have could to do to have to do with traveling so some of you might be traveling somewhere and run into this person yes okay um what do they want you to know yes okay angel messages coming through what do they want you to know oh this person is going to be passionate so if you lacked passion in your past connection or your past relationship, that's not going to happen this time around. Um, there is going to be some, maybe you just like getting away from them. It's going to inspire them to be 
passionate with you that's hot okay um what do they want you to know mm, i'm hearing you're a really good kisser okay date night yeah someone's going to be taking you out on the date someone's going to be spending their time with you letting you know how special you are to them and it could lead to passion so if you're thinking about being celibate or something like that then you know you need to think twice this definitely might not be your pile because this person really wants to be intimate with you this person wants to be all up in your energy okay um let's see what does this person want to say to you number one. Ooh, of course I think about them when I'm with you. What? <laughs> Don't let me find out. This is like a scandal, okay? Is something going on on the side somewhere? <laughs> Plot twist. Okay, seriously, that's not even funny. It's kind of making sense. It feels like a movie. Timing almost there. Yeah, for some of you, a small portion of you. Yeah, it's like this person, someone's about to leave their person for you, okay? <laughs> they want you to be their bride. They want you to be their groom. They feel like you just have a hold on them, okay? Um, for others of you, if that's not the case, you know, take what resonates. I'm just saying um, there is some deep love and this person, they have a lot to say. What else do they want to say? I've never felt this way before. I just love that. That kind of makes me feel emotional, you know? I just feel like someone who's dope as fuck is going to love you and be all into you and just open up their heart to you and you're gonna feel so special. This person's gonna make you feel so very special, okay? Let's get another one. What else do they wanna say? Yeah, I'm here, I'm gonna, I've already told them about you. I've already told them about you. The sound of your voice is music to my ears, so, if you are someone who is like a poet or someone who just speaks multiple languages, if you're someone who has a raspy voice, a squeaky voice, um, especially if you are a singer, a musician, someone like in, with the music, um, it's music to their ears. It's like it's healing. So your energy is very healing to this person. What they want to say is like you just you heal them. Just just you saying hello. I'm also hearing that this person wants to hear from you a little bit more. So if you're not like, you know, playing it close because maybe you know that there is a there is love or commitment in your future then maybe you might be like playing it close but maybe this person wants to hear from you a little bit more and maybe you could like they just want to hear your voice they love the sound of your voice what else do they want to say for pile number one. Oh okay so it's getting deep i'm not mad at that we can't be together if you can't forgive me um listen if you're the type of person who likes to live in the moment who ritualistically is that a word if you live in the moment and you know that the present moment is the most important moment in time then you can be with this person because this person is going to make a lot of mistakes 
I'm getting the vibe that this is going to be someone that's going to be difficult to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's just like, damn. So hot. She's so fucking hot. He's so fucking hot. Like, <laughs> I'm seeing the beach. Um, this person is fun. But you just have to like. You know what I'm saying? Be careful um, with this person. That's what they want to say. Um, yeah, I am getting that. Um, you know, my judgment is clouded, okay, by my vices. So, I mean, there it is right there. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? There you go, right there. That's what they want to say. They're sorry about something that happened in the past, something that happened between the two of you, and they want things. They do want things to be made right. Really strong Libra energy coming through. Um, yeah, they do. Okay. Um, so that's the wave. That's the vibe. That I'm feeling for now with pile number one. If you like this video, let me know what's your, I shouldn't say video, I should say if you like this reading, yes. I'm looking at the camera and I'm feeling like this energy is like, I'm, I'm more realistic. I'm more down to earth. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries, okay? Aries and Mercury definitely coming through really strongly. Um, but yeah, let me know what your intuition is telling you about this in the comments. I'll see you soon in your next reading. Until then, namaste, peace and love. I piled to love who chose the selenite crystals. This is your reading. Okay, so about your timing on your situation, you got the next couple of months, okay? Um, your person definitely feels like you guys have a very deep soulmate connection that you were drawn together for a reason in some sort of past life or even many eons, okay? This person feels like you are the yin to their yang. There could have been some turbulent times in your connection. If you guys are away from this person, um, their message is that they're missing you. And um, we also have true love. So this is a romance, the romance of a lifetime. This person wants you to know that their exes, people from their past, they do not compare to you. You are the one that they want to introduce to their family spend time with their friends i'm getting really strong um eastern okay um energy okay i'm hearing some really strong accents so you could be at a distance from this person. This person is missing you so much. And this person literally feels like you are their sweetest dream and their worst nightmare. But um, they want to see you and they're making time to see you. You're going to see this person soon. You're going to spend time with them. And I'm hearing that, yeah, they want your message to you. I'm always with you in your heart, okay? Someone loves to call you baby, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, 
Let's see what else does this person... Wow, you're a total flame. What do they want to say to you? Oh, they're like, baby, please text me back. <laughs> me back <laughs> it's so hot it's so sexy it's so it's so dope it's so fly the way that you talk to me the way you speak to me like who are you that's what they want to say cancer Pisces, scorpio we got the page of cups aries leo sag um I know, I know that I need to. <laughs> I know that I need to do more. I know that I need to do more. I know I need to do more in this connection, in this relationship. Oh my God. I know that you're just like sitting at home waiting for me I know you're just sitting at home waiting for me and compared to the people in my past my past relationships compared to my past those past connections you were always on point you could read my mind. Virgo energy coming through. Okay. I love how you just figure me and you get you get things done. And it's okay with me that you're an introvert. You don't have to get along with my friends. Yes. Do they want to say my pile number two? I hope to God that I don't miss this opportunity with you again. I hope that you still feel the same way after all this time. I know you think there's other people involved or other things involved, but it's not. Since you've been gone, since I haven't been around you, since I haven't seen you, since I haven't talked to you, I miss you so much. <laughs> Everything just seems so off. Everything just seems so off. It's like I'm playing this game. I'm playing this game again and again and again, but it's like, I'm not winning. And it's because you're not there. Um, other people in my life, they just, they give me the vibe of, they're hiding something. There is a facade. There's something. It's like they're so guarded. I miss your warmth. I miss your, I don't know, your sweetness, your innocence, your camaraderie, the way that we just click, the way that you just are. Like, I miss that so much. The way you get me so, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> No one makes me laugh like you. No one makes me feel so comfortable the way you do. 
and it's just been off. It's all been off. It's all been off. The, the excitement, all of that. Like, it's just without you. So I hope I can get to see you soon. I hope I can get to talk to you soon. Um, I'm definitely stuck on you. I'm definitely stuck on this connection. I'm definitely stuck. And I don't know what like I don't know what to do because I just can't stop thinking about you okay um but it feels like you have given up it feels like you get you you have given up and then that makes me feel like I want to give up but I'm not I'm still going to put in a little time, but I, I'm confused. So, wow, that was intense. Okay. Whoo. Let's just see. Um, dang. That was deep. Okay. Let's see what this person, pile number two. Wow. So many confirmations. Um... What do you need to know about this person? What what's next in your con connection? Wow. Um, yeah. Again, I mean, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Like, I, I mean, I wish I was. Um, you know. <laughs> I wish I was like just able to really say a lot of things that I actually see without making you guys feel overwhelmed, you know? Because it, like it seems too too good to be true, but this is your perfect match. And they're coming in and they're just like that's what they want. They want this is someone who's in alignment, okay? Um, their message to, to you is don't play with me. That's what I'm getting. Don't play with my heart. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's a masculine or a feminine, okay? Um, they just don't want to be played with. This is, their love language is touch. They want to hug you. They want to hold you. They're going to be very affectionate, okay? Um, these are some signs you can expect, you know, and like, this is what they want to say. They love your your hugs, they love hugging you. They love holding you. They love being in your arms. They love being around you. The color green could be significant. The color yellow, the color red could be significant. Okay. Um, really strong earth energy coming through as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Cancer, Leo energy. Um... They want to say that they, I think about you all the time. I'm like constantly thinking about you. Um, some of them reminisce about how they used to be in control. I don't know if you got this person feeling weak in the knees. If you're teaching this person a lesson in love, you know what I'm saying? This person's gonna be blowing you up. <laughs> Hi, pile three. If you chose this, I think this is Labradorite Crystal. This is your reading. So about the timing, okay, these are messages from your person, love messages from your person. Um, they're going to be channel messages, okay, so these these are just some confirmations, okay. Um, next year looks good is what they want you to know. <clears throat> um, wow, we have separation time apart from your person is on the horizon so maybe some of you are in a separation or you're just not seeing things eye to eye and the reason i'm saying this is because you do have romance here 
So there is no doubt that it's going to take some time for maybe this connection to heal or to... The angels are definitely here. I'm seeing them praying over this connection, um, hearing your prayers, answering your prayers. It's just probably going to take some time, okay, for that to happen. Um, next year looks good. So whenever you're seeing this, this is a timeless reading. Um, you could be seeing signs before next year, but... I mean, just for that separation, especially if this is a long distance connection, okay? Um, so let's just see, what does your person want to say? Wow, okay. I literally can't stop thinking about you. I feel like I was wrong. Okay, I'm hearing that this person felt as though they were wrong. However, there's something about your energy being healing to them. I'm hearing sexual healing. <laughs> um... You should have been the one that, you should have been the one. I know how long you waited, um, and now I'm ready. So we do have the Eight of Wands. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, really strong Aquarius energy. I was so mature and you were, I was so immature and you were so mature. The way you handled the situation. Um, even my friends, even my friends felt like there's just something about you that's different. Even my friends like you. Even my friends like being around you. For some of you, with this separation, this could be past tense, okay? Um, this could also be energy coming in where this person just feels like, wow, okay. <sighs> you are so freaking patient. That's what I love about you. That's what I love about you the most. Is your patience, the Knight of Roses, Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're so patient. It's just like you understand. Um, exactly what I need on an emotional level. Okay, I'm ready to get a house with you, build a house with you, have a home with you. Um, this is the four of wands. Okay, four of candles. Um, and it does, I am getting this energy of, from the three of wands to the eight of wands, and now the four of wands. This is, this is contractual agreements. Okay, um, this is serious to this person. I almost feel like I'm being drawn out of channeling into like seeing this person takes this step really serious. Okay, so if this is a long distance connection, if this is anything to do with distance or time that has been spent apart, this person's intentions it's commitments, okay? Um, let's just see what else does this person want to say. I just feel like this person is so serious about you. Pile number three. They want to know all of your secrets. 
they want to know everything and this person knows more than they're letting on here their fear I'm afraid of not knowing you. I'm afraid of not really knowing you. I'm afraid of not really being able to trust you. You know, you got the moon card here in reverse. Okay. Um, oh, my gosh. Actually, this is the hangman, which is even better. Oh, I'm your vibrational match. I'm actually your vibrational match, but I'm hiding it from you. I'm not letting you see the real me. This is funny. I'm not letting you see the real me because I know you see the real me. Like, it's weird. This person is about to open up to you and really let you see their dark side baby <laughs> they're gonna let you see when they're not in control when they have lost their shit all right could be dealing with the pisces we got the hangman here um and we also have the high priestess okay could be dealing with a cancer okay um sun moon rising venus mercury energy coming through really strong this person just feels like oh my god oh <laughs> i love when this card comes through okay that's the magician could be dealing with a gemini virgo this person just feels like you there is something magical and mystical about this connection and it's worth salvaging if you guys have spent some time apart they feel like you can fix it you can work it out you can get through the situation nine of cups they're not satisfied so when, whenever there is a separation between you it's like i miss you so much um i'm not happy being single that's not what i really want i'm not happy look at that three of feathers that's the three of swords on the bottom of the deck that's heartbreak you know i'm heartbroken um separation is not what i want um i don't want to be apart from you i don't want to be away from you i just feel so why am i hearing lost without you okay um robin thick okay that's playing in my head so you guys should definitely look that song up that's how this person feels without you lost without you and they know that they need to step up and they need to do something about it especially if you have children with this person or you had children with this person um they they know that it's time for them to to step up to the plate okay and and act like they care a little bit more so i feel like this is something that this person wants to do so expect some communication it could be sexual i'm just saying but you know hear them out because this is much deeper than that here with the high priestess and the hangman okay so let's just get some more messages and see what do yeah what are they gonna do next what do you what can you expect from this situation okay what's going with them what what else do they want to say any psychic intuitive messages that want to come through number three. What do they want to say oh wow okay this person might not be ready for marriage um i feel like this is kind of opposite from pile number one because this did come out but it was not in reverse um for some of you that could be the case or this person could be thinking of marriage, okay, in the future, okay? That's why it says next year looks good. So, yeah, maybe don't get excited like you're going to get married next week. <laughs> what else does this person want to say? 
<laughs> they love how sexy you are. Like, you are just so... First of all, you're a great judge of character, okay? We have judgment. We have self-abundant. They love your self-care game. Your self-care game is everything. They're so attracted to the way you take care of yourself. And they definitely feel like you're a great judge of character. So whenever you know you could be a Libra, um, could be any air sign. You could like to wear the color blue or the color pink. Okay. <laughs> um, it's just like yeah they love that when you need to you know put a bitch in check or something like that okay um let's see what else yes okay well you know they feel like the communication it's all right it's in reverse so i kind of feel like you know i don't know sometimes i read this this deck in reverse sometimes i don't Shout out to Queen Sugar, Melanin and Romance. I love this deck. Um, I don't know. I feel like this person, I'm getting their message to you is like, be careful what you say to me. Be careful with your words. You know, um, you know, just be a little bit more delicate or, you know, maybe hold back. If you're like over texting or over sharing, you know, always do what's led. Always do what's led. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. I mean, it's not looking bad. It's not looking bad, but I feel like it could like if it's if you're not getting to this, it's because of this. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting. So something about the communication is coming through. All right, um, let's just see what do they want to say? What do they want to say? What are their messages to you and advice? The pile number three. What? Whoa. <laughs> I'm taking it, okay? Um, instead of healing, you actually effed someone else. So, um, like I said, plot twist. There's always a plot twist. <laughs> For some of you, if you know that you did something on the side, okay? Or if this person did something on the side, it could, it could be... If this person did something on the side, they are aware of the fact that they need some sort of healing to take place in this connection. The key word here is healing. Okay. Um, total intimacy is what this person really feels like you want. So, um... If you're not over that, if you're not over that, if you're not over that, then I feel like you should let this person know in a healing way, right? So that you can solve this situation. And if the, if you did this to this person and you feel like you really want to be with them, then ask for guidance, okay? Um, ask for guidance in a dream to show you, okay, what next steps to take. What do they want to say? I knew you before I met them can't believe i let you get away so i'm just getting the vibe that you've always been in this person's life they've always loved you you've always been the one that they want to be with but maybe this person has some commitment issues you know that you've had to deal with okay because we do have this undeniable separation you know this is not being together so if there was any point in this connection or in this situation you know this person you know they they just feel like that you know um they see you now i see you baby i see you now i see who you are i see what you are right um let's get another wow i'm i'm hearing i see what you are and what you can be to me where you always been 
Wow, the last thing I tried to do is think of you. So this person definitely, I feel that they they have tried to put you in the back of, of their mind. They've tried to focus on other things, but they can't stop thinking about you. They cannot stop thinking about you. And it's simply because this person has way, way, way deeper feelings for you than they've had um, for someone in a very long time because this person is doing anything. <laughs> um, but the thing of it is, it's, um, it's synchronicities. We have the seven of shells, seven of cups. This is Neptunian energy. This is telling me that this person is constantly seeing signs and synchronicities about you they're being reminded of you they're having dreams about you they know i know that you're my person even though i try not to think about you that's like damn near impossible you know because you're always on my mind um i am gonna leave it here i just want to pull one more card for advice for you guys to take away one message for advice for pile three. Wow, I mean, you're not you're not off. You're not wrong when you're thinking that this person is constantly thinking of you. And also if you're seeing signs and synchronicities, um, you could be having some sort of telepathic experience with this person. Um, the reason that I'm saying that is because I'm seeing the star card in the beginning of your reading. And then we also have the six of cups. Okay. So this person could very well feel like they're always going to be drawn to your energy because it's healing. Because you bring some sort of healing to them that reminds them of feeling safe when they were a child again if you have a connection with someone like this don't be afraid to reach out and let them know exactly how you feel if you're constantly thinking of them so that's all i have for today pile three until next time namaste peace and love